Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to open this bike rack without having the key by just using two normal spokes. I recently got this rack for a future project and when I got home I noticed that the rack is locked. So you can see here this piece is actually locked and I didn't want to drive all the way back and check if the seller has the key so I came up with this idea also maybe you can use this if you are in the same situation as me or you lost your key and you want to unlock your bike from your bike rack this will also show you how insecure these bike locks are okay so what you're gonna need is of course these two spokes you're gonna need a hard surface we're gonna need a hammer, but not to hammer the lock, of course. We're gonna need a screwdriver because this lock actually there is tension on the lock because of how it screws in and, and everything. So we need a screwdriver, and I'll show you why. And a Dremel. We can. I'm gonna show you also how to unlock a similar lock like this. So I have my roof rack here which has a similar barrel cylinder. So I'm gonna show you how to unlock this again with these two spokes, but this time without having the, the need to use the screwdriver. Okay, so first step is actually to modify these spokes slightly so that they can be used to unlock the lock. One of the spokes will be used to apply tension and the other one will be used to adjust the pins inside the cylinder for the tension spoke i just have to use the hammer and hammer it on both sides like this You don't want to do it too much. Basically, it has to fit inside the cylinder tightly. Let me see if that fits well. Oh yeah, that fits perfect. Okay, so this part is done. The next bit will be to use the Dremel and cut the end piece of this spoke here. Of course, when we are using any kind of rotary tools, we need some protection and some gloves. Okay. I have my cutting disc here. I'm gonna cut this. Okay, now I'm gonna change the cutting disc to a sanding paper kind of disc to smoothen the edges. So we want to we want to thinner the end piece of this so that it goes inside the keyhole. Okay. And we end up with something like this. So we want the tip to be maybe a bit thinner actually than this so that it can grab on the pins inside one by one because these are very thin pins and if it's a bit wider then it's gonna probably catch multiple pins and it will not be as easy to open. So let me just Narrow this down a bit more.
And now we are ready to open this up. We have both our pieces ready for action. I'm gonna prepare my screwdriver. Okay, so this to open this we need to turn anti-clockwise. So I'm gonna put my spoke just at the bottom like this. And I'm gonna rotate slightly to the right. And I'm gonna start picking this pens here. You're probably gonna start hearing clicks, which is always a good sign. I'm not very good at picking, so please bear with me. Okay, let's go through them one more time. Let me see. Yep, I think they're all set. Now I'm gonna use my screwdriver and turn this all the way. And we got this open. Okay. In the end, I'm gonna show you how this cylinder looks like, but let's now try to open this guy as well. Again, putting the tensioner on this side, applying a bit of tension to turn this anti-clockwise. And now we're gonna try to set all the pens in the correct spot. I feel we are almost there. Let me have a look. Okay, maybe the first few. And we got this one open as well. And you can see how simple it was. With a bit of practice, I'm sure this can be faster. So now let me disassemble the, the cylinder from the other wok and I'll show you how it looks inside. As we already took this apart, I'm just gonna Unscrew this all the way. It will make it a bit easier. Now I'm gonna use a small screwdriver and basically Try to push all of these pins here and and this should allow me to push this out like this so you can see this is actually plastic and these pins sticking out uh, if they're not set in place you cannot rotate the chamber here and unlock it and what we're doing with our spoke is basically putting it inside here and trying to push this down so let me see if i can show you yeah so you can see when i push they they go down and once all of them are aligned properly you can rotate this And I think that will be it for this video. I hope you find it useful and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.